Today, we're going to learn about bash scripting and how to write your own bash script so you can automate network reconnaissance on this episode of Cyber Weapons Lab. If you want to improve your networking skills and graduate from being a script kitty, learning how to write your own hacking scripts is an important step to take. Hackers write scripts in several different languages, from C to Python, but definitely the most popular language to write scripts in is Bash. Bash is a language which is natively understood by all Unix systems. A Unix system is anything from Linux to Mac OS. Because Bash is natively understood on all of these different computers, hackers tend to prefer it because they can be confident that the computer that they're deploying the Bash script to will be able to interpret and understand the code that is being deployed. Today, we're going to learn how to write Bash scripts from the ground up starting with a very basic hello world script, and we're going to then use those skills that we learned to write a, a script which can automate nmap tools and enumerate a local network. In order to follow this tutorial, all you'll need is a computer which can run bash scripts. If you have any problems with this video, you can check out the article, which is linked in the description. Let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we're going to have to do is actually open up a text editor and create a, a bash script there. So I am in a documents bash scripts uh, subdirectory that I'm in, but you can go to any directory you want, of course, and create a bash script there. So to actually make a bash script, but you can use a text editor of your choice. I'm just gonna use nano because it's nice and simple and um, we can call it whatever we like. So I'm just gonna call this hello world.sh. And so the first line of any bash script is always gonna go as follows. And this is called the shebang. And this basically tells bash where your interpreter on Linux is so it can actually run the bash code. So to print something to the screen, in this case, hello world, we're just going to do echo and hello world. So now if we go ahead and save this file, and if we try to run it, you can see uh, permissions denied because this file is not made executable. So you can go ahead and do that by doing chmod x hello world. Now we can try to run it again. And as you can see, it prints hello world back to us. So now let's um, actually create the network, the more interesting bash script that does the network enumeration, the nmap stuff. So let's create a new bash file. I want to call this recon.sh. We got to make sure that we start with the shebang. So the first thing we have to do is actually collect the user input and make sure it's valid. So I'm gonna go ahead and type that really quick and explain it. So what this does is it collects the user input, stores it in this um, dollar sign one variable, and if that variable is null, it's gonna echo to the user. It's gonna print them instructions about how to actually use the script. So it's just gonna say, type in dot recon.sh, so the name of the script and the IP address that the user is interested in scanning. So after that, we're gonna actually use nmap to scan that given IP address. So this printf is going to print this nmap pattern line just to keep things more organized. And we're using printf instead of echo because printf a little more advanced and it handles um, these new lines a little bit uh, more predictably. And then this caret is going to store it into the results file. And so this will be viewed as a text file later. And then now we're going to tell the user that we're running nmap and this is just basically an nmap command. So it's saying nmap with that given uh, IP address as the variable. And then it's just removing some stuff from the end and um, removing some stuff from the top, some superfluous information that's just kind of clogging up our view stuff that's not really as interesting to the user. So now that we have nmap going, we can go ahead and combine it with what web to analyze those open ports and see what we can do with those ports. So now this is basically reading every line that nmap generated. And if that line contains the word open and it contains the word HTTP, then it's going to scan that line using what web. And then it's going to use what web to store those results in a new file called temp. Now we're going to actually output all this useful information to the user. So now as long as this temp file is not empty, it's actually going to go ahead and run this. So it's going to just do that web header so the user can separate the two values. And then it's going to save everything from temp to results. And then it's going to remove temp so we don't have to deal with it anymore. And then finally it's going to cat the results file to the user. So now we can go ahead and save this. And if we go ahead and give it execute privileges, and if we try to run it, 
Oops, so it looks like we have an extra key that we don't need on line six. I think that extra space is what was causing it. So now, as you can see, when we try to run recon.sh, it's um, recognizing that we didn't provide it with an input and it's gonna tell us how to actually use our own program. So let's go ahead and provide it with an IP address and I'm just gonna use the IP address of a Metasploitable virtual machine that I have running on this computer. So we're gonna use 102.168.56.102. And I put in the wrong IP address. So as you can see, Nmap was not able to find anything. And as you can see, it was able to scan all the um, open ports and report that to the user. So as you can see, Bash is a super simple way to combine multiple Linux tools together and have them automate processes that you wouldn't want to do over and over again manually. If you like this tutorial, be sure to check out our website where we have hundreds of free articles and videos, as well as premium paid content like the Ethical Hacking Certification Bundle, which features pen testing with OWASP Zap, WordPress hacking and hardening, and the CompTIA Cybersecurity Analyst Prep Course. Check out the link in the description below. As we just saw, Bash is a very powerful scripting language which can allow you to easily automate many tasks that you would have had to do manually over and over again otherwise. While it is powerful, we also saw that it's very, very picky with its syntax, so it's important to practice bash scripting as much as you can in order to improve your skills. Again, if you had any problems with this tutorial, you can check out the article, which is linked in the description. If you have any ideas for a future video, you can hit me up at Twitter, at Ned Godshaw. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.